The Kingdom in Turmoil The people are suffering from poverty, hunger, and injustice. The benevolent king, King Alexander, sits on his throne, troubled by the plight of his subjects. His advisors, Lord William and Lady Catherine, stand beside him, discussing the dire situation. King Alexander, determined to bring about change, paces back and forth in his private chamber. He contemplates the best course of action to alleviate the suffering of his people. After much thought, he decides to embark on a journey disguised as a commoner to understand the struggles firsthand. Dressed as a humble merchant, King Alexander mingles with the common folk in the marketplace. He listens to their stories, witnesses their hardships, and empathizes with their pain. He realizes the urgent need for reforms and resolves to make a difference. While in the village, King Alexander encounters a young girl named Emily, who recognizes him despite his disguise. She promises to keep his secret and becomes his trusted ally. Emily guides the king through the village, introducing him to the villagers and their struggles. King Alexander returns to the palace and calls for an emergency meeting of the royal court. He unveils his plans for reforms including fair taxation, improved health care, and educational opportunities for all. The courtiers, initially skeptical, are moved by the king's compassion and pledge their support. The king, accompanied by Emily, embarks on a series of visits to different parts of the kingdom. He personally oversees the implementation of his reforms, ensuring that they reach the most vulnerable. The people, witnessing the king's dedication, are filled with hope and gratitude. Months later, the kingdom has undergone a remarkable transformation. Poverty has decreased, education has flourished, and the people are living in harmony. King Alexander, now known as the Benevolent King, addresses his subjects, expressing his pride in their resilience and urging them to continue supporting one another. In the final, King Alexander, now aged and wise, sits in the royal garden surrounded by his loved ones. He reflects on his journey and the impact he has made on his kingdom. The people gather to express their gratitude, and the king's legacy of compassion and kindness lives on, inspiring future generations.